has a pretty big gap, a gender gap right now that he's had, he's had since the beginning of this campaign and has had no success in trying to bridge. So, Katie, you've been covering the Trump campaign almost from the beginning, right? Since, like, I don't know, 10 days in. Less. Wow. I sat down with him early on in the campaign, and um, it was one of the first network interviews that he did after announcing, and it was after um, Macy's was dropping him, and his business started to look like it was taking a real hit from the idea that Mexicans are sending rapists and criminals into right. this country. So I sat down with him, and I'm not entirely sure. Maybe he didn't know who I was. Maybe he was expecting a different kind of interview, but I came in prepared to ask him about some of the things that he'd been saying, and. Uh, I don't think he liked it. <laughs> so that was my introduction to Donald Trump. Um, and you know, we've gone up and down since then in terms of, listen, it's it's going to be an antagonistic relationship, uh, you know, that goes through, uh, you know, peaks and valleys, no matter what, because you're covering a presidential candidate and you can't just let everything slide because that wouldn't be fair to the American public. Any other just general observations about what it's like, what it's been like covering Donald Trump? Unpredictable. <laughs> uh, I, I find that anytime anyone says, "Oh, this is what's going to do him in," it, it's not. <laughs> and if you look at the numbers, he really is affected by that, right? He's affected by numbers. He always talks yeah. about numbers, and right. when the numbers are on his side, that's all he looks at. Yeah, right. There's something in me that just says that. Don't ever count him out. Don't count him out because yeah. the second you count him out, he's going to come. He's going to come back. If you, that is to say, if you don't like Donald Trump. Yeah. What's the lifestyle been like for you? I don't sleep, ever. Yeah. I'm wearing the same socks I've been wearing for three days. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's a... Uh, but you go everywhere with him, right? I, I go mean, pretty much everywhere. I, I, I... And you've been doing that for a year? A year? Yeah. It's, you know, it's a 24-hour it's thing. You know, you... Even days where you're not on TV every hour. Sometimes when everybody hates you, the correspondent, you have to rely on your producer. <laughs> He's another he's, road warrior, Anthony's right? That's right. My lifeline. Yeah. Anthony's everything. My favorite story about Anthony is almost you, a year ago on my birthday, <laughs> and I am miserable. And he looks at me and he goes, "Look, he got, he got me a birthday present." Oh, I did. wow! I mean, eye, puffy eye cream. Nice. Did it help? <laughs> it did. I needed it. Well, there you go. It was great. That is maximum producer. That's right. We're a great team. <laughs> the NBC team.